Hi, welcome back to uh, Cadable. And uh, today we'll be modeling this uh, block in SolidWorks. And uh, this will be eighth exercise of this uh, playlist. And uh, I'll provide uh, uh, its file in the description link, which you can download from uh, ClapCAD. Uh, so let's start. First of all, I'll go to new and I select part and I'll press OK. And now I am in SolidWorks interface. Uh, first of all, I'll change my background to plain white and uh, I'll set my units to MMGS which are already selected. And uh, now uh, I'll choose any plane. Uh, for example, I'm choosing here a front plane. Go to sketch and first of all, I'll draw my basic geometry and that is 100 by 45, right? The, the base block is 100 by 45 with the extrusion of 19 millimeters. So I think it's better to it's better to cancel this because I have this picture just uh, don't save and uh, I'll select center rectangle and I'll make a rectangle of uh, what was the dimension 100 by 45 the bigger dimension is 100 mm and the smaller dimension is 45 right and this dimension is 45 mm right uh, sketch is turned into black which means it is fully defined next I'll go to features and I'll go to extruded boss and I'll make an extrusion of 19 mm right and the basic uh, extrusion is done next uh, uh, next uh, I'll make a cutout and uh, as you can see from here the cutout is uh, 63 uh, mm uh, and uh, the depth of this cutout is uh, uh, let's say 19 minus 13 which will be 6 mm right so I I'll make a corner rectangle and I'll make a through all uh, cut out so I'll go to SolidWorks again and uh, let's say I select this face go to sketch and uh, I'll make a view normal and I'll select a corner rectangle this time and I'll make a corner rectangle uh, the length will be 63 mm right and uh, the height of this extrusion will be 6 mm as you can see from here uh, this is 13 mm and the total uh, extrusion was 19 mm so 19 minus 13 will give us 6 mm right uh, next i'll go to features and i'll go to extruded cut and i'll select this option i select this option through all so uh, second uh, second uh, feature is done that is uh, uh, cut extrude and next I'll make uh, a fillet of 20 mm and uh, it's better to uh, to draw these features in 3d rather than in 2d uh, just go to features go to fillet and uh, select this uh, this edge and I change it to uh, what was the dimension uh, that is 20 mm right so I change it to 20 and fit is done next uh, I'll create this uh, this side and that is uh, uh, that will be uh, from the back side of this uh, of this block and it will be let's say nine uh, first of all i'll create a rough geometry and then i'll give it uh, suitable dimensions uh, let's rotate my model select this face go to sketch and i'll create a basic 2d sketch uh, first of all i'll create a basic rough geometry and that will be a corner rectangle and uh, i'll create a straight slot and a straight slot will be uh, the dimension of the straight slot was uh, 19 mm from center to center and uh, 19 mm from this uh, center to this baseline right so i'll go to my geometry again and this dimension will be 19 and uh, the dimension from this center point to this baseline is also 19 and uh, the width of this uh, slot is uh, let's say 15 mm as you can see from here 
and uh, I'll go to smart dimension again and this dimension will be 15 mm uh, as you can see from here it is not in center so I select this line this line and this line and I'll make a relation uh, symmetric uh, also uh, as you can see this is not straight uh, this is a uh, three point curve or this is a tangent curve so I'll go to SOLIDWORKS again and I'll delete this line and uh, let's say I'll create a, a three point arc and uh, uh, it is tangent uh, this center line and this center point it will be uh, coincident right and next I'll have to uh, give another dimension that is this uh, this line and uh, this line will be in fact this center uh, in fact this uh, uh, the radius of this is 19 mm so this line will be 38 right uh, for example this will be 19 so this will be 38 by default right let's cancel it and uh, as you can see from here that sketch is fully defined because it is turned into black right uh, just uh, uh, go to features go to extruded boss and uh, I'll rotate my model and it is uh, it is doing extrusion in wrong direction so I'll change it and uh, the uh, total length of this extrusion will be uh, let's say 10 plus 9 as you can see from here 10 is the uh, 10 is the width of this rib which we will uh, create later and 9 is the uh, width from this point to this point so 10 plus 9 will be 19 and uh, it is already uh, 19 here so just uh, click ok and uh, this feature is also done next i have to create a rib and uh, the width of this rib will be 10 mm so just rotate my model and uh, go to sketch i select this and uh, i'll create a simple line from this point to this point and I'll make a relation called tangent relation tangent relation is done and uh, now I'll create a rib so go to features go to rib command and uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, creating rib in wrong direction so I'll create uh, first uh, uh, this is first side this is uh, both side and this is uh, second side so I will create this option and I will create uh, this option right and I click ok so uh, rib is also done and uh, the thickness of rib is I think 10 mm uh, yes it is 10 mm and uh, lastly I have to create uh, a hole a, a counter bore and uh, the dimension of this counter bore is uh, the bigger uh, dia is 20 uh, just forget this uh, tolerance and uh, the uh, uh, the cut is uh, 6 mm uh, deep and then we have a hole of uh, 10 mm right uh, there will be our uh, head of the bolt and uh, uh, there will be our uh, threads of the bolt right so i have to create uh, this feature uh, from uh, hole wizard uh, we can create this feature from uh, uh, simple extruded cut command but I think it's better to create this feature from uh, a whole wizard and uh, I'll go to sketch in fact I'll go to features directly I'll go to whole wizard and I'll select whole wizard and uh, I'll select this counter board uh, first of all I'll go to position go to 3d sketch and I'll select this uh, this point and uh, in fact uh, this point uh, the center of this fillet they will be uh, concentric right and now uh, go to type and uh, I'll select the 
the counter board dia is 20 mm as you can see from here the counter board dia is 20 mm and uh, the uh, uh, let's say we'll change it and then we'll make a 20 uh, let's say we'll change it to 30 and as you can see the counter board dia is changed into uh, 30 so we'll make a 20 and uh, the uh, through hole diameter that is this dia the smaller dia this is 10 first uh, let's change it to 15 uh, so, uh, as you uh, see that uh, this dia is turned uh, from 10 mm to 15 mm so let's say we'll change it to 10 again right and uh, the uh, the cutout is uh, the in fact the depth of this cutout is 6 mm uh, let's say we'll change it to 1 mm as you can see uh, the change so as we have this uh, this depth is 6 mm as you can see from here this is the uh, symbol of depth this is the symbol of dia so let's change it to 6 right and uh, we'll create uh, up to next right and we'll press ok so uh, it is also done and all, we are almost done with this uh, uh, practice exercise 6 uh, next uh, I'll go to let's say edit appearance and uh, I'll make a, a green shade appearance uh, let's say this in fact this and uh, I think it is uh, it is up to you uh, just uh, select ok and uh, lastly I will check my dimensions I will go to uh, features in fact I will go to sketch I will go to smart dimension and uh, I will go to let's say uh, reference dimension and uh, this dimension from this point to this point uh, in fact to this point this will be 63 as you can see from here let's rotate my model uh, as you can see from here this dimension is 63 and this dimension is 63 right uh, also uh, the thickness of this rib will be 10 mm and I will go to smart dimension and the thickness of this rib will be 10 mm and uh, this uh, the dimension of this uh, counter board uh, let's say I select this option and uh, I select this uh, in fact uh, go back to smart dimension again select this option and uh, it is showing the same dimension as we have uh, here right uh, this is the dimension of uh, in fact this is the symbol of counter board this is a symbol of uh, dia and this is a symbol of uh, cutout right uh, just uh, checking uh, 2 to 3 dimension this radius will be 20 mm as you can see from here and uh, this uh, the dimension from here to here in fact uh, dimension from uh, in fact the thickness it will be 19 right and uh, the thickness from here to here it will be 13 right and uh, uh, you can check many uh, dimensions uh, but the standard uh, is go to evaluate and you can evaluate your dimensions for example uh, the total length was uh, the total length was let's say 100 mm so I'll select this edge and I'll select this edge and uh, it is showing that the dimension of this line this red line is 100 mm right and uh, it is also showing that the dimension is 100 mm uh, let's say the radius of this uh, of this block was uh, 19 so I can check this as well just clear sections and uh, just select this and it is showing that the radius is 19 it is also showing the perimeter and area but uh, the main concern is radius here and 
let's say let's say this bigger dia is uh, 20 so it is also showing that the bigger dia is 20 uh, so we are done with this uh, solidworks uh, basic exercise uh, 8 i hope you like it and if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial uh, you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you